Good afternoon and happy first day of fall to everyone. My name is Max Hyde. I serve as a state representative for District 32 in Spartanburg. It is an honor to welcome my friends from the Children's Cancer Partners to the State House. And I would like in particular to thank Governor McMaster and his terrific staff for providing this opportunity to recognize, support, and celebrate Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. Today, we will hear from several speakers representing Children's Cancer Partners and learn more about the great work they do every day for the over 1,500 children they serve, connecting them to the very best treatment and care. Now, let us have a moment of silence to remember the children of South Carolina who have lost their fight to childhood cancer. Thank you. You may notice the 75 yellow roses here. They symbolize the 75 lives of children expected to be lost this year to cancer. At this time, I'm excited to present my good friend, constituent, and the executive director of Children's Cancer Partners, Laura Allen. Laura has brought her 30 years of corporate and nonprofit experience to bear on the overwhelming challenges of childhood cancer. Notably, Laura has spearheaded the growth of an extraordinary organization born in Spartanburg, which has expanded to serve both Carolinas. Thank you so much, Max, and thank you, Governor McMaster, for having us here today. Every day, pediatric oncology social workers refer a child or more to our organization with terrified families. They've just gotten the worst news of their lives. Your child has cancer. Their lives are turned upside down, and we promise them that we will be there alongside them throughout their perilous journey. We make sure that they can travel throughout their treatment, help pay for lodging, meals, special home care that's needed, and even take them out of state if they have to go someplace else. We provide personal and household care items that are become unaffordable for families. And when financial hardships arrive, their own, as they almost always do, we're there to help with them and step be by their side. We celebrate when a child rings the bell, the completion of their treatment. Today, we lost two children. We grieve with our families, and we help them with final expenses. Today, we bring so many invisible tragedies to light to help South Carolina be the model for childhood cancer, patients, and family support. And Governor McMaster, we'd like to ask you to bring one of these 25 roses home to the First Lady. And think of our children as you enjoy the flowers. Thank you. Thank you, Laura. Uh, now I'd like to present Glenn Cash, Senior Financial Executive with, with AFL to Telecommunications and Children's Cancer Center Partners Board member. Glenn will share a few statistics that give us a better understanding of childhood cancer in South Carolina. Glenn. Thank you so much, Governor. I'm honored to be here today, uh, and especially honored to represent Children's Cancer uh, Partners as a board member. Um, we honor Childhood Cancer Awareness Month as we honor it. I want to share some very real and staggering facts with you, uh, and I hope you'll remember some of these figures. Cancer is the number one disease killer of Carolina children, number one. Did you know that there are only two institutions in South Carolina where our children can be treated? For you and I, there are dozens. We can sleep in our own beds after our treatments. Our children and their families are traveling many miles for their uh, treatments. Children of rural and poor families are 3x greater risk, three times greater risk. Due to limited rural care, family resources, they are often late or misdiagnosed or unable to complete their treatments. They are at greater risk of relapse or dying. 
This is unacceptable. Did you know that only 4% of cancer research dollars are dedicated to pediatric cancer research? I repeat, it's 4%. And lastly, sadly, nationwide, one in five children will not survive. As I close, I want you to think about that one child out of five that will not survive and ask, are, are we doing enough? Uh, thank you again from Children's Cancer Partners. Thank you, Glenn. It is clear from Laura and Glenn that childhood cancer has devastating effects on the people of South Carolina. What a blessing that we have an organization like Children's Cancer Partners. This organization, which is a success story, will represent 1,700 children in both South and North Carolina by the end of this year. South Carolina can be proud. No other model like this exists in the nation. Children's Cancer Partners truly helps South Carolina stand apart and shine when it comes to providing access to care for South Carolina's children. And now, it is my high privilege to introduce our great governor of the great state of South Carolina, Henry Dargan McMaster. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Emphasis on great state. I, I look there and I see the butterfly and children's cancer partners of the Carolinas. What a, what a great thing to see. Anybody ever had a butterfly fly around them one day? You've experienced that? Okay. Well, you know the stories. Uh, many, many thanks and congratulations to these here and those they represent for doing what has re been reflected in the words so far. What that demonstrates, of course, improves beyond question is we have a lot more work to do. Uh, and I think I can speak for Max as well as is myself to say that we have learned over the years that the best way to get things done is when you have a, a team. And when we communicate, collaborate, and cooperate with each other, which are the words we speak in my office all the time, that's how you get progress. And the, the more private individuals, institutions you have involved, the better it is. In fact, if the government is not involved, typically it's even stronger and can move faster because government has certain restrictions on them. So I want to thank all of you for doing what you're doing. And the, the, the numbers that you read are startling. There, we have a lot of numbers that, that startle us, we, but we have a lot of good numbers too. And I, I am delighted to hear that this, that this is one of one of one so far, and I'm sure that the model presented here will be duplicated, perhaps not improved upon, but duplicated in other areas, and that's the way we make progress. So with that in mind, I'd like to read this proclamation, Governor's Proclamation. State of South Carolina, Governor's Proclamation. Whereas cancer is the leading cause of disease-related death among children, and whereas According to the American Cancer Society, approximately 10,500 children under the age of 15 will be diagnosed with cancer this year, and nearly 1,200 children will die from the disease. And whereas cancer in children is not preventable and its causes are unknown, and whereas Childhood Cancer Awareness Month recognizes the courage and compassion of those children and their families throughout South Carolina and the nation who have battled or are currently battling cancer. And whereas, by working together to raise awareness of the devastating effects of childhood cancer and the need for continued research into the causes, improved treatments, and a cure for the disease, we can make a positive difference for families, patients, and survivors in the future. Now, therefore, I, Henry McMaster, governor of the great state of South Carolina, do hereby proclaim September 2021 as Childhood Cancer Awareness Month throughout the state and encourage all South Carolinians to join together in honor of those children who have been diagnosed with, survived, or lost their battle against cancer. Signed by me, Henry McMaster, proud, happy governor of 
5.2 proud, happy, hardworking, determined South Carolinians. And I thank you. And here, if you will step forward, and they'll take a picture. Thank you. Of that, Max, move on. Up a little bit. Yes, sir. Okay. Got it. Max, can I have just another minute? Yes, sir. We have a lot of great people in South Carolina doing a lot of great things, and one of them, there are many of them here now, but some that some folks might not know about is our own Laura Allen. Um, a lot of times we have unsung heroes. Sometimes they raise to the level of statewide awareness, but often they don't. But one of the things that I'm allowed to do as governor is to participate in a process of recommendation and recognition of those who have gone above and beyond what is expected to greatly serve and enhance the lives of the people of South Carolina. And one of those is here today for such recognition, and that is Laura Allen. As you know, she, she's been everywhere and done everything with virtually every group involving children and research. She's promoted this cause. She's made an enormous difference. You know the details. I won't recite them. But they are enormous, and they are wonderful. And because of that, this process was initiated, as it has been for other great leaders, based on recommendations and confirmation by a group that reviews such things to determine who among us is, has risen on a statewide basis for the highest recognition that the, our state has, which is the Order of the Palmetto. And if you would step forward, please, Laura Allen, I'll present it to you. And it reads as follows. State of South Carolina, in grateful recognition of contributions and friendship to the state of South Carolina and her people, I do hereby confer upon Laura Allen the Order of the Palmetto, with all the rights and privileges appertaining thereto, signed by me, Henry D. McMaster, your proud, happy governor, on behalf of 5.2 million proud, happy South Carolinians. There you go, Laura. Thank You really surprised me. We know. <laughs> it's not required, but usually the recipient of this high honor would like to say something, if you would. I think we have a minute or two. Maybe. All right. I, I would. Thank you so much. Um, I'm really stunned. Whoever got behind this, all of you, obviously, thank you. And Governor McMaster, it is an honor. Um, I know what it represents. I've seen the other leaders in this state receive that. And humbled. Thank you. Surely, you know, I could not have accomplished this without any support and help. And there's an amazing team behind me every single day as I go out and try to raise awareness for child cancer. I proudly accept this honor, but I want to accept this honor in KJ's honor because he is here today representing one of the 1,510 children today that is on their cancer journey. And we are so honored and happy to be with you and you are the only child here today and you are the star today thank you for the other thousands of children and families who are on their journey i will continue the fight i will continue to advocate i will continue to raise funds and i will continue to make sure that you have every need met because i have this amazing team board members volunteers staff I mean, just everybody, even the governors behind us, and Max Hyde. So thank you all so very much. Well deserved. Any questions? Thank you so much. Thank you. Excellent.